This is Banjo, and today I'm going over how to create new ARC RSPN or PRMG navigational beacons in DCS World for the MiG-21 BIS. The first step is to note down the information we need for the location of the beacon, in this case the location, latitude, and longitude in decimal format, as well as the grid location of the location we wish to place the beacon. In this case I'm placing it near Batumi Airfield. The final step is to go into our DCS World installation, enter Mods, Aircraft, MiG-21 BIS, Cockpit, Systems, and then we'll track down rnavdata.lua. This will contain all of the navigational data for the navigational beacons in DCS World for the MiG-21 BIS. As we're able to see, it's all commented with instructions on how to edit the script, and we have examples below as well. As we examine the example, we're able to see that it starts with Airbase, and below we're able to see an APA used in the first RSBN beacon. Next we have latitude and longitude in decimal format, which can be chosen in the options menu to have displayed in the editor. Then we have altitude. This will be the altitude above sea level of the station, and it's listed for each runway. So in this case we have two values. Then we have runway number. In this case it's a value between 0 and 180, so if for example the other one, the runway is 270, you would use negative 90. Then we have the Morse code identifier used to identify the station, which can be found through various means, including online translators where you simply type in the text you wish to have spat out in Morse code, and then copy and paste it into the, uh, into the line for code in between the two punctuation marks. In this example, I am using an online translator to translate it, so in this case I'll simply copy and paste this in between the punctuation marks in the code line, which will include the new identifier code for the RSBN or PRMG station. Next we have ARC, which is slightly different, in that it uses less data, but we also have a country line to include. And we already have it all set up in station, so we'll simply piggyback off of the existing ones, and as we're able to see, Many of these sectors have blank spots, so we're going to simply use the sixth blank spot in the Georgian sector for the arc, copying and pasting it and changing the entries. So we're able to see we've changed the latitude, longitude, code, the grid number, and the name. And finally, if I select sector 31 of the arc and channel 6, slap it into arc navigational mode, we're able to see as it tunes on to the new ARC station that I've created out near Batumi Airfield. As I overfly the station, we're able to see as the needle spins around indicating that I'm overflying the station within probably a couple of kilometers. We're able to see as the station is somewhere down there now in a location we never had a station previously.